Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about one of my favorite G Suite apps, Google Keep. I'm going to give you this little tour of Google Keep using its Android app on a Chromebook. Now, why the Android app? There are the Android app has more functionality than the web app. I'm not sure why, but it just does. And it renders really nicely on a Chromebook. So we'll look at it just to give you a little overview. This here, which I drew this note is the things I would like to cover during this video. And yes, I get it. Um, that looks like something a crazy person organized, but whatever. All right, let's take a note real quick. So if I take a note, I'll give it a title. And then one of the really cool things about this is that if you put a web link in there, so I'll put that in there, it will render a little preview at the very bottom. So that's really cool. Uh, let's look at some of the things that we can go over. We can do, we can take a photo. Now the photo will be from your webcam. So here we are, there I am. All right, that's fine. I'll put it in. One of the things I don't like about that, I really prefer that to also have a video capability, but that is what it is. That is one of the Android enhancements to the Google Keep Android app. I'd hope that at some point you can take a video and put that in there too. By the way, notice this Golden Gate Bridge. I got a nice little preview there. All right, so let's choose an image off our hard drive. One of the things I really like about Google Keep is that animated GIFs integrate into it. So if I put that in there in a second, I will have an animated GIF render. Let's keep going. I can do a drawing. Now this is available in both the web and the Android app. This is with my mouse. This is with my finger. It's also fun if you have a stylus on a touch screen to do that as well. So I'll hit the check. I'll put that back and notice I got my drawing. I got my webcam picture. I got Charlie in the animated GIF. So that's all really cool. Let's keep going. Recording. This here is the real magic of the Android app that is not available in the web version. You can record your voice. Imagine this for giving students feedback, narrative feedback on their assignments. And I'll talk about that in a minute, but giving them narrative feedback so that they hear the tone and inflection of your voice. So it's not as harsh as simply text that is without any kind of tone. So let's do that real quick. So this is an example of narrative feedback. Oh, and look at this. So it actually cut me off because I stopped but it actually wrote out the text and then this is an example of, all right, that's really cool. I might try to do that one more time. I really like what you've done here. Incorporating an animated GIF of Charlie and a picture of your webcam shows that you know what you're doing. Now, a couple things. Again, it transcribed my text. That's a what I said, that's really cool. And again, I have the audio. So think about that for sharing feedback with students. I'll talk about checkboxes in a minute, um, but let's go over here and let's do a few things. Now, if we can delete, we can make a, a copy, we can send, we can add a collaborator. I would suggest adding collaborate, adding students as collaborators so they can access it. Here's some real magic about Google Keep labels. So what I would suggest is every student you have make a label for them. Also, every assignment you give where you're really going to give feedback, make a label for that. So let's say this is feedback for Tom student, and let's say it's on the geologic disaster assignment. Now we go back and let me just get out of this note real quick, but first I'm going to pin it to the top. So it's at the very top of my screen. Okay. So there it is. And let's look at a few things we have here. We have a nice preview. We have a nice preview of the link. We even have, you can see that there's a little play button to show that there's audio there and it's got two labels it's got the geological disaster assignment and it's got tom student now if i go to my veggie burger over here and i go to tom student it will filter by everything i've labeled tom student so and if i go back let's filter by geological disaster assignment it will put those there so you can see all the feedback you've given for an assignment or all the feedback you've given for a student i think that's really really cool and let's go back to notes okay we're back in here a few other things i want to show you i pinned it to the top let's give it a color so the colors my only 
problem with the colors is that it doesn't line up with the new Google Calendar color scheme, which is amazing. It's got a nice palette of about 16 colors plus the ability to do a custom color. This, Google Keep colors, Google Calendar, and Google Drive should all be the same so that you can color coordinate. I'll give it orange. I don't even like the shade of orange, but I made it orange. Okay, whatever. Here, reminders. I can give myself a reminder about a note, but even better, I can do a place. So if I do a place, I'll just type it in real quick. Golden Gate Bridge, that adds a place. I hit save, let's get back out of the note. And again, now I have a little map link to the Golden Gate Bridge. How cool is that? There's so much functionality in this thing. All right, one last thing and let's see how this goes. Let's do check boxes. Check boxes are really, really fun because they get let you mark things off your to-do list. There they are. And now let's say I got rid of that. Boom, it goes down, it's crossed off. It is awesome. Let's go back to my little note. The links, the check boxes, the drawing, the webcam, collaborations, yes, inserting an image, reminders and places, yes. So we covered all that. The drawing feature on the Chromebook is really cool if you have a touchscreen. The voice recorder and your webcam, those are the real Android only features that hopefully will come um, to the web version. And I hope that video comes to the web version as well. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.